Please prepare yourself to practice meditation. Sit down in a comfortable position, either on the floor or on a chair or maybe on a couch. Keep your spine erect, eyes gently closed. Allow the whole body to relax completely. And we will do that by taking a couple of mindful breaths. Very slowly breathe in. Hold your breath briefly. Breathe out completely. And again hold. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Hold again. Inhale. Hold your breath. Exhale. And hold again. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. And hold. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. And hold. Inhale. Hold your breath. Exhale. And hold. And feel that body is totally relaxed now. Feel your mind to be very calm and peaceful now. complete relaxation of the body and mind and you're just observing your mind observing your body as a witness allow the body to breathe in and out allow the mind to relax and calm down with this relaxed body and mind we will meditate on one of the important aspect of yoga principle coming under the yama that is aparigraha the meaning of that is non holding a non greediness these are all restraints we don't have to be too greedy that's the value that yogis artists long time ago and we are trying to revive those values of the ancient time and implanting those values in the modern time so that we can benefit in every respect towards our health towards prosperity towards bringing more happiness and collectively the overall development of the human kind we are trying to create a collective global consciousness filled up with more values that is sustainable and also capable of holding the progress that we have all made so far and allow us to transcend all the limitations that is created by the human mind because of the greed so this precise value of aparigraha is trying to bring that consciousness of to be more giving not to be too greedy not always to think about our own self but to think about the world that we live in sharing and caring for others and we do this practice of meditation by showing an act of being a little unselfish that means we are giving this 15 minutes of time to our someone else in our life and i will suggest you think about 
a mother, your own mother, or any motherly personality. And then this motherhood will be strengthened or empowered with this value of Aparigraha. And through the motherhood network, it will again descend back to the children. So that's the scheme of this meditation. We use the powerful golden light concept. The healing golden light present in your heart. And as you focus on your breath mindfully, that light will spread around the whole body. Allow for some time to breathe in consciously, breathe out consciously. Our practice of slow, smooth, long, deep and conscious breath. Your mind is very calm and peaceful. Observe your mind. Contemplating on the value of aparigraha, non-greediness. In your own personal life and everyone else that you can think about. Allow that golden light to show up like a aura around your body. Your whole body is surrounded by that golden light. Now stretch that light to touch upon the person that you are trying to meditate. Let that person's heart be soaked in this light. And as you breathe in and out with that visualization, allow that light to spread around that person or that personality all around. We interact not just with the physical body, but with the astral body and also with the causal body. The gross body and the subtle body. Such as the mind and spirit of that individual. And this golden light being very subtle, it can flow through, in and out, through every cell. And almost like reprogram the entire consciousness by installing the value of Aparigraha. Undue attachment to the material world is the root cause of all suffering. But this doesn't talk about non-possessing. You can possess the things, but knowing that you are just a custodian of those things, And as the time comes, those things will be taken out and you should not worry about them. The nature is always kind enough to give us more. So not to hold things unreasonably, like holding the money, holding resources, Try to covet for everything that you see, like the houses or the cars or people, luxury. So putting a boundary or putting a limit so that we build up our personality in a very holistic and balanced way. Our progress will be measured not just physical assets, material wealth, but also our spiritual progress, the sublime personality that we all are responsible for. And that's the intent of this meditation. So allow that golden light from your heart to flow onto the mother's heart and all the mothers 
connecting to each other with this golden light representing the value of our parigraha and that's the true nature the mother is always giving towards her children breathe in slowly breathe out completely as you breathe in feel like your mind is becoming more calm and peaceful more receptive breathing out more relaxes and happening and as you relax more and more with this meditation our mind becomes more and more powerful we become more confident we become more confident of our resources about our ability to recreate wealth and name and fame again and again even if they are taken out because of different reasons just like the story of henry ford he became bankrupt five times in his lifetime but again he rose up and he became more successful and that's the confidence we are talking about we are capable of things that we can do and the greater deal of trust that we have with the universe with the nature with our higher self so visualize that all the mothers are becoming more resourceful and passing on that resourcefulness to all their children through this golden light network connecting all the hearts and minds of this world breathe in slowly breathe out completely and few more mindful breath meditation is joining all our minds together that's why it's a global meditation marathon and visualize that more and more people are becoming a part of this network so that collectively every one of us will benefit from this practice the power of millions of people meditating for one another installing the value of goodness in everyone's hearts this world becomes a beautiful place for all of us to thrive and enjoy life enjoy all the resources given to us by this universe in a non greedy way just like the nature is always bountiful it always gives unconditionally to us the sunshine the rain drops everything the beauty the forest the minerals all the resources that the universe has got everything is given freely to us with total trust and we also have to practice those qualities in our own personality and that is what yoga's value our parigraha means allow few more deeper breath to make this a possibility in our own lifetime we are evolving to higher refined consciousness we are transcending from our limited self to tap into the higher possibilities of human mind
thank you for being a little unselfish and spending this time for someone else and for the world. When we think about benefiting others, we also benefit our own self. May this little practice of meditation inspire you from within, awaken your reality and make you more resourceful, more compassionate, more kind and allow you to make a difference in this life. On the count of three, we'll come back from this meditation practice. One, become fully aware of your body. Gently wiggle your toes, make some movement to the fingers. Two, become fully aware of your breath. Three, become fully aware of your mind, the magnificent mind, the powerful mind. You may open your eyes now, slowly and gently. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.